Before we move away from uh, hyperbaric uh, oxygen treatment, uh, I know you're most familiar with this Israeli study. Let's talk about the protocol on that one. Yeah, they took 30 people and put them in their large chamber, the one that I visited, and they did 60 daily sessions of 90 minutes, five of those per week, and had a look at the number of senescent cells in the bloodstream before and after and telomere length. And what they found remarkably was that those aspects of aging were reversed. They saw uh, impacts on senescent cells too. They did. They looked at in the immune system, looking at, looking at these immune cells. You can measure senescence. You can stain them blue, uh, which is bright blue when you get older. And they found that there, were, there was a dramatic reduction in the number of those senescent cytotoxic T cells, as, as they're called. Okay, so 60 sessions, 90 minutes. This is not something anybody, most people can do every day right now. This is not going to be a common part of people's longevity regimens anytime soon? Well, there are uh, a number of centers that are run by doctors uh, mm-hmm. in major cities. It'll become more popular. It's growing rapidly. Um, but I think it's a great way in the future for people to mimic exercise. Um, I wouldn't say don't exercise, right? But it's it's an interesting idea that you can lie down, watch TV, go to sleep and get your, your run in uh, by mimicking hypoxia, but in this case with high levels of oxygen in your body for a short period of time. It's really cool. 